Are there ways other than expos to venture into the world of art licensing? Chelsea M. from Cardiff by the Sea in California. Well, yes, there are other ways to market yourself, but let's start off by saying definitely you need that plan, an annual plan to, to make sure you're creating enough collections, you're refreshing those collections, and that you've got, a strat you've got strategies and tactics and actual ways to get out to the manufacturers one of those ways, of course, would be trade shows. And I think that there's a lot of different strategies and tactics for someone who is new to the art licensing arena. And you can get the information through classes, but sometimes if you've got really unique characters or really unique art or you're just really new, to the industry, you also might need some precise individual consultation and advice. Okay, don't mean to repeat myself, but I think that there's sometimes when um, general information is really valuable, and you, there's a lot you have to do that when you're starting out that you can use uh, general information for. But then you get to a point where you actually need specific information that relates to your art your character, your publishing, your brand, etc. Now, the trade show should be a part of your annual, annual plan, but you need to make sure that you're doing trade shows when you can afford them and when you can do the groundwork to make the shows worth it. They're expensive and there's a lot of things you need to do to prepare. And those of you who are who have already been to trade shows are nodding your head. And the, many of you on the line, I know I've been to many years of trade shows and you're really nodding your head. But they're so important. And without trade shows, you would not be exposed, especially personally, to many, many of the executives in the industry that you just otherwise could not meet. But they take planning, and since it's a big investment, you want to make sure that you are doing them right, your materials are well prepared, and that you're scheduling appointments. And I can't say that enough. People think that you can just sit in your booth and wait for people to come by, and absolutely, you're at a trade show. People are going to walk by your booth, and if you've done a great booth, they're going to stop by. But why leave it to fate if you know the companies that you want to be with and you've got a presentation you want to present to them, you've got to get out there and ask them for that appointment. So regarding the volume, I would suggest about 20 collections if you're doing art and design before exhibiting in a show. There are people at these shows that have portfolios, you know, from the floor to halfway up your calf. I mean, they've got huge volumes of work and that shows obviously their dedication the industry if you're new and you had say six collections I think manufacturers would could be very interested it doesn't mean you wouldn't get a deal but I think manufacturers want to know you're committed you're coming back you're constantly creating new collections and that you're committed to the industry and you're going to be around because if they have a smash hit with your materials they want to come back and do more